Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is a simple Fury Warrior guide so that you can get all the basics down. For the first part of the video, I'm going to go over the talents and glyphs. Then I'll talk about the arms rotation and stat priorities, and then go over a few add-ons that I would recommend. First, I'll go over the talents. For the first tier, level 50, I chose double time. You can choose Juggernaut if you prefer. For the second tier, level 30 talent. I chose second win because I'm lazy. You should choose Enrage Regeneration as it is a better choice. For the third tier, level 45 talent, the only good pick in my opinion is Sudden Death for obvious reasons. For the fourth tier, level 40 talent, I choose Stormbolt because it is the most single target DPS. You can choose Dragon War if you prefer AoE DPS. For the 5th tier level 75 talent, I chose Safeguard. You can choose Vigilance. For the level 90 tier, you should take Bloodbath. Unless you prefer AoE DPS, you should take Bladestorm. For the 7th tier level 100 talent, you should take Ravager for the most DPS. The other two are DPS loss, but are both about equivalent in efficiency. I'm going to go over the glyphs. The glyphs that I would recommend and require would be Unending Rage and Bull Rush. And the third one I chose is Death From Above. Your other options would be Wind and Thunder for more range on Whirlwind, or Rude Interruption to cause your pummel to increase damage by 6% for 20 seconds, or Sweeping Strikes for more AoE gain. For minor glyphs, the only useful ones might be Subtle Defender or Intimidating Chouse. Those are your choice. Now I'm going to go over the Arms Warrior Rotation. Your number one priority is to always use Execute procs and to keep Colossal Smash on cooldown. Maintain Rend on the target and you can refresh Rend if it has less than 5 seconds remaining. Always remember to keep Ravager on cooldown, and then use Mortal Strike, Stormbolt, and then use Whirlwind as your filler. For multiple target fights, you want to keep up Sweeping Strikes, keep Ravager on cooldown, use Bladestorm if you have it, keep Rand up on multiple targets, a maximum of 4 or 5, use Dragon Roar if you have it, and use Whirlwind as your cooldown. Remember to use all your cooldowns like Recklessness, Bloodbath, Bladestorm, and Ravager. Remember you can always use defensive cooldowns like Defensive Stance if you're taking too much damage. Always remember to switch out of Defensive Stance because you might be gaining Rage. Your Rage is only generated through two sources which would be dealing damage with auto attacks and using your charge. The first add-on that I would recommend would be LVY, which is the add-on you see me using in all my videos. The add-on is a complete replacement for the default user interface, which would be action bars, cooldown timers, proc displays, and pretty much everything else that's on your screen. For boss mods, I would recommend deadly boss mods or bigwigs. In the past, I've always used bigwigs. This expansion, I'm going to try out deadly boss mods more and see which one I like. I would recommend GTFO. It's a lightweight add-on that notifies you when you're standing in fire. For scrolling combat text, I would recommend Mix, that's what I use, or Parrot. Other add-ons that you can use for displaying timers or buffs on yourself would be Weak Auras or Tell Me When. You can also use Riley's Spell Announcer to announce certain abilities or raid cooldowns that you use in the raid. For a damage or DPS add-on, you can use Recounter Scada. Make sure you have Omen Threat Meters, and that's about all for add-ons. For other useful warrior tips and tricks, go to icyveins.com. That's all for now, ladies and gents. If you like my videos, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, so we can hopefully see each other again. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day. 420, praise it, I'm out.